welcome back student in the last class we finished uh, the lecture by introducing a problem that was supposed that is supposed to be done in the class so there is a reservoir it is connected to a pipe pipe is in two different areas uh, sorry in, in two different uh, diameters the this the length is the total length is 50 meters long but this is 25 centimeters having a different diameter and this is having a different diameter there is a sudden expansion there is a valve here there is going to be major losses here and there is going to be major losses here minor losses will be at this particular point here here and there will also be going to be a minor loss at the square end turns all right so this is a problem where you will get to understand and practice all the major and minor head losses again so that is why i thought it to include it uh, as the solved problem normally i give this question in the class test or exam for my btech uh, second say third second year students so i'm going to solve this now it might be a little lengthy problem but uh, uh, it's important for you to follow what's going on okay so you should try to remember this figure that our, a pipe is connected to the reservoir this is the square entrance this is the valve this is the sudden enlargement and there is an exit so there is also going to be an exit uh, uh, thing e exit loss and the water height i mean the total height is 10 meters in the reservoir all right so solution 14 so the pipe system that we have in question first we should be able to write what all things are there a it will have minor losses right so what are the minor losses the first one is square entrance and the head loss here will be equal to 0.5 v1 square by 2g we have learned this formula since there is a valve there is a minor loss that is equal to k into v1 square by 2g k is already given in the question as i told you it's 0.2 v1 square by 2g and the third one is sudden expansion so hl so h between 1 and 2 so i call it h12 as v1 minus v2 whole square by 2g all right and in the end then we have next there exists friction loss hf in pipe 1 and 2 which is given by fl general formula is flv square by 2gd and also there is an there is exist an exit velocity exit velocity at the end of pipe 2 so this loss of magnitude so entire velocity is lost so v2 square by 2g now we have listed all the type of losses here all right so we have to rewrite the total head loss h as so starting from here it will be 0 0.5 v1 square by 2g plus 0.2 v1 square by 2g plus so in the pipe 1 there will be one major loss as well fl 
v1 square by 2 g d1 all right plus in pipe 2 it first of all it will be v1 minus sudden expansion v1 minus v2 square by okay plus f l2 v2 square by 2 g d2 this is the major loss due to the flow and in the end there is an exit loss v2 square by 2 g all right so we have listed down the energy loss so we start calculating the uh, different uh, you know um, so what we can do is we can you know so we can start writing here the total head is 10 meters right all right that is and d1 is because that is what is going to lose entire head is going to lose 0 0.15 meter and then there is d2 as 0 0.30 meter that is we know. So, h 1 2 this one sudden expansion is v 1 minus v 2 whole square by 2 g or v 2 square by 2 g divided by v 1 minus 1 whole square all right. So, we have written now there are two velocities v 1 and v 2 and you know what the easiest method to what is the easiest method to find v 1 and v 2 is the equation of continuity and that is what we are going to do next. All right, so we also know that a 1 v 1 is equal to a 2 v 2 right so a 1 d 1 square is equal to a 2 d 2 square all right. So, using this we can write h 1 2 is equal to v 2 square by 2 g instead of v 1 sorry a 1 v 1 is equal to a 2 v 2 sorry yeah so this is not correct. So, we can transform v 1 in v 2 in form of d 2 and d 1. So, v 2 square by 2 g this will become d 2 by d 1 whole square minus 1 whole square. So, h 1 2 is going to be v 2 square by 2 g and d 2 by d 1 we all know it is 2 right so 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.15 whole square minus 1 whole square so h12 we can so this is 2 square is 4 4 minus 1 3 3 square 9 so it will be 9 into v2 square by 2g all right so we can simply now write down the value of h as is equal to 10 as v 1 by 2 g 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.02 into 25 by 0 0.15 plus v 2 square by 2 g 9 plus 0 0.02 into 25 by 0 0.30 plus 1. So, 10 is equal to 4.03 v 1 square by 2 g plus 11.667 into v 2 square by 2 g all right and we also know that v 1 d 1 square is equal to v 2 d 2 square all right. So, this implies v 1 will be v 2 into d 2 by d 1 whole square implies v 1 is equal to 4 v 2 all right. So, putting this here 
वी कैन गेट टेन इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट जीरो थ्री इंटू फोर स्क्वायर प्लस इलेवन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू वी टू स्क्वायर बाई टू जी दैट इज सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट वन फोर इंटू वी टू स्क्वायर बाई टू जी एंड ऑन सोल्यूशन दिस इज गोइंग टू गिव वी टू हैज वन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो फाइव मीटर्स पर सेकेंड एंड इफ यू नो वी टू वी कैन सिंपली फाइंड क्यू एज फाइव बाई फोर इंटू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री जीरो होल स्क्वायर वन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो फाइव दैट विल गिव अस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट वन वन थ्री फाइव मीटर क्यूब पर सेकेंड ऑल राइट सो यू सी हाउ वी हैव अप्लाइड द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मेजर एंड माइनर लॉसेज एंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी टू सॉल्व सच अ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम लाइक दिस ऑल राइट so we go back and we are going to start what we promised uh, is like the hardy cross method all right so what does the hardy cross method say so if there is a flow like this there is an inflow and there is an outflow you see and there is a loop that is formed so what we do we assign the clockwise flows and their associated head losses as positive so the and the clock the clockwise flows and their associated head losses are positive so what we do is at each nodes we distribute q and write that delta q is equal to 0 all right at each node and we calculate head loss from q using hl is equal to k q square because you remember head loss was k into v square by 2g right or we can simply write k q square by 2g a square so basically h can be written as k dash q square if you bring k by a g so our head loss is written like this k into q square because head loss is proportional to the discharge square if the head loss is equal to 0 then that means the solution is correct if it is not equal to 0 then we apply a correction factor delta q and we go to the next step this delta q is not arbitrary we have a led procedure in hardy cross method that will tell what delta q is but in principle getting delta hl sum of all the head losses exactly zero is not possible so we terminate the calculation if we get head loss if it is less than 0.01 meter or delta q is less than 1 liters per second we stop the calculation there itself so instead of zero we go for a very very small quantity so a reasonable and efficient value of delta q for rapid convergence is given by this so this thing you have to remember delta q is written as minus of sigma head losses divided by 2 sum of hl by q so for each pipe in the loop we are going to calculate head losses do the summation of it not only we are going to calculate hl but also the value of hl by q because if the sigma head loss is not coming zero we will need that value later all right so so i'll just repeat the hardy cross method so at each node you distribute q such that at each node delta q should come to zero it should be an arbitrary q 
of course you should satisfy the continuity equation suppose 100 is coming from there and there are two ways you can say 60 40 70 30 or 80 20 whatever but it should satisfy the continuity equation second thing you have to do it at all nodes in the loop so once q is defined here q1 q1 q2 q3 q4 for example then you start calculating hl hl is k into q square this k either you have to calculate yourself or it will be given also both can happen all right so you will prepare a table like this you see pipe you will say a b b c c d there are four pipes here d e for example yeah could be it is a circular pipe for example then you need to whatever q you have distributed you will write it down here whatever those are you have to find h l based on this q and this you also have to calculate h l by q for each of these pipes and do the summation here and do the summation here you have to stop the calculation if this is very near to 0 all right if not then we will rely on this value of delta h l by q by this equation this equation and you will add this delta q to each of those q's in each pipes suppose let us say if this pipe was 10 if it was 30 it was 20 it was 90 and our delta q comes to be minus 5 for example right then what you do in the next iteration so you have to repeat this process again and in the next iteration the first pipe will have 10 plus of minus 5 this will have 30 plus of minus 5 this will have 20 plus of minus 5 and 90 plus of minus 5 and then you have to make the table again for each of the pipe you have to write q you have to write hl and you have to write hl by q do the summation here and you have to stop if this delta hl comes less than 1 so this is the broad explanation of hardy cross method all right so i think i will stop here now and in our final lecture uh, i will start with the solution of this hardy cross problem so th the next lecture is going to be the last one for this module or uh, pipe flows so thank you so much and we will start right from this pl this place See you in the next lecture.